My name is JP Gervais. I'm a senior ag economist at Farm Credit Canada. My role at FCC is to provide economic analysis to help our customers understand the drivers of agri-food markets, as well as to drive good business strategy at FCC. Well, I wish I had a really simple answer to what is actually a pretty simple question. There are many factors that have an impact on the value of our Canadian dollar. You may have heard the expression, a petrol dollar. It is true that when the price of oil is going up, the value of our dollar is also going to go up. But it's more than just oil. It's the fact that the Canadian economy sells a lot of natural resources and a lot of commodities in foreign markets. So when there's a strong demand for these products, there's also a strong demand for Canadian dollars in financial markets. And as with any market, when the demand of a product goes up, the value of that product is also going to go up. So all of this growth is pushing up the value of our currency. A second factor relates to interest rates. So if we focus on Canada versus the U.S., if interest rates in Canada go up while interest rates in the United States remain constant, there will be an increased demand for Canadian dollar denominated assets. And so the increase in the demand for our currency brings up the value of our dollar. These two factors together can explain about 95% of the relative value of the dollar with respect to the U.S. dollar. When our dollar is going up in value, it makes our Canadian products more expensive for foreign customers. And so Canadian business has two options in that case. Either it lowers the price it charges in a foreign market to make their products more competitive in that market or it exits the market. The one thing that is important to note is that even if you're a business that does not export to a foreign market, you can feel the impact of that stronger Canadian dollar because that impact will be felt across the supply chain. That business that actually exports to the foreign market will be able to pay a lower price for the inputs that it buys from its suppliers. So the impacts are really felt across the supply chain. On the flip side, a stronger dollar means also lower import costs. So it will allow some businesses perhaps to import machinery or equipment with the purpose of lowering their production costs and making that business more competitive to fight off the pressure of a stronger dollar. 